What is going on guys, Steven here, and um, today we are back for our APA Academy uh, second draft. So for weeks 5, 6, 7, and 8, this is our draft we're going to be using. Uh, real quick, a quick recap of uh, our first draft weeks 1, 2, 3, and 4. We ended up 4-0, I think plus 10. Uh, week 1, we played It's, and that game came down to Suicune not being able to kill Alamo, a little bit of nothing on his team being able to kill Suicune. We won that game 3-2, or 3-1. Uh, next up was against mid and his hyper offense scary scary team. We ended up winning that game 5-0 Largely in part to Suicune again. Shout out to Zapdos with the static that game though. Um, week three we played uh, uh, Lynx and the South Florida Bulus. We ended that game winning uh, mostly with Suicune again So Suicune got our first three kills of first three wins of our season basically on its back. Uh, and then game four was against Slacking Doctor, Doctor Slacking, and the Truant People, my guy. Um, we ended up winning that game largely in part to Neuvern. <laughs> Him not knowing we had Neuvern and Neuvern hitting its hurricanes. Great game uh, for me, not for him. We ended the game with a, a little Krasma sweep. But um, so this, this draft we're going to be using for weeks five, six, seven, and eight. And um, I was pick eight. I wanted to get something that I could strong and like a, like a top tier threat that I could carry in the playoffs, but there was a chance that all of them would be gone. So I ba I couldn't really plan. I had to pick what's best available and go from there. Um, luckily, it just so happens that the best available when I got to pick number eight was Lander Therian, an insane mon, crazy, crazy, crazy versatility. Um, it gets rocks. It gets defog, it gets U-turn, it gets knockoff, it gets sword sands, it gets rock polish, it gets earthquake, it gets stone edge, it gets the edge quake. I, did I say defog? Because it gets defog. I think I said defog, I don't care. Uh, this mod does everything. This mod does everything and it does everything well. Um, it's even even like defensive sets with like Rocky Helmet to check physical attack. Like it's an amazing, amazing Pokemon. Can do anything I need to do in any given week. Um, and then Z moves. Don't even get me started with the Z moves on this thing. Uh, Z moves really put this thing absolutely over the top. This mom is great in Gen 6. It is top tier. Top, top five, top three maybe. Top three maybe Pokemon in Gen 7 Draft League. And it fell to me a pick eight. So we were very, very excited to get this. Um, next up, I wanted to pair it with some more offense. I didn't want to go right for like water resist or ice resist. Well, ice and water resist, I guess, technically. But, um,. I wanted more offense to pair with Landers, so I picked up Weavile. Uh, Weavile is actually my favorite Pokemon ever. Um, c competitive aside, favorite Pokemon design-wise, like, I love it. I love it so much. Um, Weavile has really, really high speed, really, really high attack, and crazy to switch into dual stabs. Like the, This thing has no switches. The only thing that is harder to switch into this thing, or then this thing, is probably just Mamoswine, but that, that's a different story. Mamoswine is the king, the king thing. Um, Weavile does what it does very well. It does Pursuit Trapping, it does Choice Banded Breaking, and it does Sword of Zen Sweeping every now and then. Less so than the first two, but um, Weavile is here, and Weavile is a nice resist. Not the best ice resist ever, but it does have respectable um, special defense, so can be the ice resist if we needed it. If we know the ice hit's coming, Weavile can come in and usually not lose too much health. Um, next up, I wanted my Dragon because they were starting to go, but I didn't want a dragon that was completely helpless to ice or four times weak to ice. So I got uh, Kamoa. Now, Kamoa is a fighting type, so I can scare out those ice types with my fighting stab. And Kamoa has really, really high defenses because it's a pseudo, but all of its stats are really high. So like the regular, like Hidden Power Ices will bounce, will bounce off this Pokemon. This Pokemon is so thick. Um, and I haven't used Kamoa since the Ultra Sun and Moon came out and gave him very, very good moves. Very good coverage. Uh, before this, before the Ultra Sun and Moon, his best fighting stab was Sky Uppercut. It didn't get Drain Punch. It didn't get anything. It got Sky Uppercut, and that was it. Now it gets Close Combat. It gets Drain Punch. It gets Ice Punch. Thunder Punch. I think Fire Punch. Doesn't matter. Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock. Um, so I have Kamo, and Kamo is part of the squad, and I appreciate him, and I appreciate everything our boy Cuddles is going to do for us in these four weeks. Next up, it was time for a big boy ice resist and a water resist too. But I had a pack to myself that I would never... Give me one second. Never, never draft this Pokemon. 
Uh, we broke that vow and we drafted Young Toxapex, the thickest mon in draft, the most annoying mon in draft, honestly, probably up there. So Toxapex is a T spikes setter. It is a regenerator pivot. It is a haze option. It is a toxic spikes removal option. And it's just all in all like a great sponge, a great sponge. There's so little things that just kill this thing. Like running calcs against Toxpex is frustrating, utterly frustrating to do. And I know because I played this thing plenty of times. Now, now he's on our side. He's no Suicune, but he's here to put in the work. Next up, we picked Rebombi. Now, I'm thinking, what could be good with this team? And what is a potential so my first draft did not have webs but it's always nice to have a good web setter to be able to bring for playoffs if i so choose with the mons that i end up you know like pairing throughout the 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 third draft as well so i picked up her bombi really high speed webs is really nice uh quiver dance sweeper gets a u-turn i like u-turn a lot on rebombi because because it forces uh, a good amount of switches with its like respectable stabs um it ends up being my only fairy, and I, if I had to do it again, I would probably choose another fairy, but not a big deal. Not a big, it gets roost, it gets recovery, it is a fairy type, no matter. Um, it's a bug type too, so it gets a couple extra weaknesses, but that's not, that's not what's important. Rabami's here, and Rabami is going to try her very best. Next up, we pick Serena. I wanted some more removal. Um, Serena was removal. Actually, and by more removal, I mean my second remover because I didn't have anything other than Defog on Landorus at this point. Serena, I like a lot. Uh, removal, U-turn, knockoff, or you can run a lot of offense and take advantage of that base 120 attack stack that she is sporting with uh with moves like power whip moves like high jump kick moves like uh i think it's play rough maybe i think i'm wrong about that one but i know it gets high jump kick and i know it gets trap kick and uh power whip trap kick is a cool move too because things can't set up on you um and then obviously rabbit spin synthesis uh aromatherapy so it's a cleric um, next up, we picked Magneton. Now, this pick was a mistake. This pick, uh, it rolled around to me, and I was in the middle of a game. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of League of Legends, but I play that a lot. I was in the middle, I was in between games, and my girlfriend only had time for one more before she went to work. So, she was, she said, hurry up, make your pick. And it was supposed to be Registeel. Registeel was open. I wanted Registeel, but... When it came to it, I forgot what I wanted. I wanted to, I knew I wanted a steel type, and I was like, oh, I was thinking about Magneton, right? Sure, sounds good. We picked Magneton, uh, so he's here. Now, he's not the bulkiest steel, and most of the times, I want to run him more offensively than defensively. So, um, what we end up doing is we end up picking a second steel type, but that's later. Uh, bit out of order. Um, so, I wanted a wish passer with, so a lot of my mons uh, were solid defensively, like Landorus and Kamoa were both solid defensive mons. Even even like Magneton has a good defensive typing, but they don't have their own recovery. So Licky Licky is an, an amazing wish passer. Licky Licky is just great. Licky Licky is so nice. It's a phase option. It has access to heal belt as well. And of course, a wish passer. Um, as well as like curse sets, SD sets, like stuff like that can catch people off guard. Um, with a pretty good ability that it can't be taunted, and I mean another one that can't be confused, but less useful than uh, no taunts. But now we pick up our second steel type, because I wanted uh, a bulkier option um, in case my steel that we needed to be bulky. We went and grabbed a Scavalier, another mon that benefits a lot, a lot from, um, what is it called, Wish? It's very bulky, very, very bulky, especially with like AV and stuff like that. It's incredibly bulky. It only has one weakness, so I make the fire uh, four times, but only one weakness regardless. Um, so a Scavalier is here. Scavalier is our bulkier steel option um, with like Pursuit, stuff like that, knockoff, uh, Mega Horn. Honestly, this mon, I say bulkier option, but this mon can hit harder than Magneton. It's got 135 uh, physical attack with great stabs honestly like mega horn is such a good spammable move um next up we um i needed 
more I need more bulk, obviously. So I went in and I got a psychic type. I got Musharna. Um, Musharna I didn't actually think was that bulky until I ran Galaxy it for my first week battle with this team. Musharna is crazy. Let me say it again. Musharna is nuts. Absolutely incredible, incredible Pokemon. Uh, so bulky for a tier five. It gets Moonlight. It gets Healing Wish. I think it gets Heal Bell. I think it gets Heal Bell. I know, it's, I know it gets Heal Bell. And it's a Thunder Wave supporter. It's a Toxic supporter. Um, it has Calm Mind, has access to that. Um, but honestly, it's just a really, really good sponge. And it's got a good special attack stat as well. I think it was 107. That's crazy. Um, and then last but not least, we had our Mega Slot. Now, I was eyeing, I didn't, I wasn't eyeing a certain Mega up until probably around, probably around 7, 7, 8. Uh, and I planned out my last couple of picks. Um, looking back, I did not realize that my Mega would put me at a triple bug typing uh for a total uh, of four that's actually five five fire weaknesses for the draft but uh without further ado we have mega pincer um mega pincer is destructive mega pincer is insane power mega pincer appreciates webs mega pincer appreciates toxic spikes mega pincer has priority mega pincer has swords dance Mega Pinsir has Stealth Rocks. If you didn't know, Mega Pinsir, Mega Pinsir, can't talk. Pinsir is a Stealth Rocker, uh, unorthodox, but he's a Stealth Rocker. Um, so one thing I did learn in my first battle with Pinsir is you can't run Body Slam with Faint or Quick Attack, and it was very unfortunate because I want to run a Body Slam Pinsir. So I just might run a Body Slam Pinsir, like Stealth Rock, Body Slam. X-Scissor because you never see Bug Stab on this thing. I'll just run it because. And Earthquake. I don't care. I want to run a Body Slam Pinsir. Either way, that is going to wrap up our draft for weeks 5, 6, 7, and 8. Those are the Whalmers. Uh, these are the second round of Whalmers. No duplicates, by the way. I made sure because I want to give myself the broadest option. Um, I thought about picking Suicune again. Mm, figured... I want to use something different. I know I'll probably bring Sweep into playoffs, spoilers, but um, these are the Wyomers for our next four weeks. So you better get used to them. You better love them. And you better hope that they can pull the dubs out for the boy and we can continue our undefeated streak. I will see you guys the same day that this team builder goes up. I will see you guys for my battle versus Tone and his Miami Malamarlins. Uh, his team is big scary, but that's for another video. I'm going to catch you guys in that video probably right after you watch this. Have a good night.